this is my SGS 100 litre air compressor. It's 3H, 3 horsepower, uh, delivered up to 14.6 CFM. So it's ideal for sanding, drilling, paint spraying. It's got twin outlets. Now the one on the left hand side, this one, you can regulate it. This one is just goes straight to the bar, the eight bar. So the engine size is three horsepower. Power consumption is 2.2 .2 kilowatt. Voltage is 230 volt mains, 50 hertz. Rated speed of 2850 revs per minute. Current 10 amp. Air display, displacement 14.6 CFM. Sound level is 67 decibel. It does sound louder than that to be honest. Discharge pressure is 115 PSI, 8 bar. Restart pressure is 87 PSI, 6 bar. The tank capacitor is 100 litres and the air outlet is a quarter inch BSP to Euro coupler. The fitting can be swapped for PCL fittings. Please check any fittings and couplers section on the manual when you get it, if you get one. That is my air compressor. It does seem louder than what it is. I'll just show it around a sec. 100 litres and the model number is SC100V. I have used it, I have painted a van with this. That's why I had a little bit of blue on it. It does come with the wheels, a handle which you've got to attach yourself. Um, do check this when you get it. Make sure everything's tightened up. This was all right to be honest. There was nothing needed doing. Your oil level indicator is just inside there. The only thing I would say is a little bit flimsy on it is this off on. So I've, I've had, see it's a little bit stiff, but I've hardly used it just odd time. And then you're obviously underneath, if you can see it, is your water drainage. Really is a good compressor. And that's the 100 litre one. The cable, what you get with it, isn't very, very long. So I'll just show you from the right not very long. The initial kick up start to plug it into the mains is 30 amp fuse otherwise it will trip your electrics. So I have to have a 30 amp fuse fitted in. Good machine runs all the impact drivers, um, paint spraying equipment, sandblasting and my tyre gauge if anybody's looking at purchasing a tyre gauge as well this is the best one you can buy it's so accurate and that's a PCL and I don't know if the model number's on this it's the Acura Mark 4 anyway well, that is the best one you can you can get. Digital display. With the double tip. This is my uh, uh, nail gun. It's only a work zone one. Well, I'll tell you what, it's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It comes with the nails as well. I don't think uh, Aldi have them anymore, but they always sometimes always an offer going. And then we set up for me a regulator. What's this system? Now, if you are paint spraying, 
I would recommend you do not fill this one with any oil because you don't want any oil going into your air gun. This is to lubricate your, your machine or your equipment. So don't put any oil in that if you're tending to spray your car or spray anything. I've fitted all this all the way through the gauge. So then I can put an extension on like this one. And it's called up on the side of the box. Gauge is a bit of a tip at the minute, but it's a garage. So that's my air compressor anyway. Um, one day I will probably, if you wanted me to kick it up and start it up, give us a comment below and obviously I can do it for you. So you can hear it and see what, what it does. But I will say you do need you do need the 30 amp to kick start it up otherwise it will just trip your, your switches um, but that is an ideal um, air compressor it's absolutely brilliant uh, nail guns like i say sandblast and i've done with it i painted a full van with it uh, god decking with it with a nail gun uh, impact wrench for basically taking the wheels off the cars I've done all that with it and obviously just to show you it's a, like I say excuse the mess but it is a bit of that's my spray guns and obviously the clay bar and everything but yeah it's a good little system I think they're about £400 £150 I can't remember exactly what I paid for it um, but that's my air compressor and like I say put a comment below and if you want me to try something out or you want to know anything else about it, I will gladly show you. But yeah, it's, it's a good system. It can be noisy if it's in a garage, small garage and that. It's going to be noisy. But I've given you the uh, rundown of what the machine can do. And I've given you the information of the, the litre sizes and etc. But like I said, if there's anything else that you need to know, you want, like you say, you want me to start it up and show you inflating the tyres or something, uh, no problem. Uh, just give us a comment, give us a thumbs up, and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.